I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king. I want to share today on allow God to break Brokenness you. is an opportunity to become holier. Think about the picture of a cup. If a cup looks clean on the outside, but it's dirty on the inside, you know, people can have stubbornness in their hearts, anger, lack of submission, pride. The cup inside is dirty, but on the outside, at church, holy, 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 he's so good. Oh, sweetheart, hey, darling. But as soon as they get in the car, God wants to circumcise such hearts. Paul, when he started with God, he liked to give his credentials. Me, a Hebrew of Hebrews. In everything not lacking. Here, in 2 Corinthians, he said, I, I don't feel like I am, I am behind the topmost apostles. He was a Christian, like every one of us. But his heart still needed some circumcision. Watch. For I am the least of the apostles. You see that? God has started working in his life. Before, he said, I'm on the same rank with the chief of the apostles. But now, I'm the least of the apostles. He's getting there. He was the chief. Then, all of a sudden, he became the least. I'm not even worthy to be an apostle, Okay. Now, I'm even the least of all Christians. Everyone in, 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 in church, in COCM, I'm the least. Even Joseph got to a place where he fought a little with God. In the prison, he started complaining. I didn't do anything to be here. We are living sacrifices. We are alive. And, God is, and that's why sometimes it's painful. Because not a lot of anesthesia. You are, you are on that place and they will abuse you. People will use you. They will castigate you. You will use your money. It will look like it's a waste of time. And God says, yes, feel the pain. The guy said, I didn't do anything to be here. You remember Job? Job complained and complained and complained. I did, I'm so holy. I'm so good. I'm so this. I help everybody and all these things. When it was time for God to answer, God did not say, this is the reason, this is the reason. God didn't, God said, were you there when I made the sun and the stars? Were you there when the beasts of the sea, I called them forth? Were you there? Answer me. He wants to circumcise your heart so that your mom can see you and say, God is doing something in your life. What is it? I want to know him more. We'll talk about brokenness. The stone that God uses. When God wants to shape somebody that he really, there's something he wants to do in that person's life. God takes you to a place where they will go and cut you. You know, God is always looking for people he wants to refer to. He wants to make mention of. If you're a minister of the gospel in any area, there is a place where he has to make you. God can touch you and make you to influence somebody in life. I would like to talk about Jacob. And the Bible tells us that he was a twin. He was the younger one. And Esau was coming first. And the Bible said that Jacob grabbed the heel of his brother Esau in the womb. Jacob grabbed. Jacob, that name means cheat. Somebody that keeps grabbing. He deceived his own father. He outwitted them. He got the birthright. He got the blessing of the firstborn. And Jacob rose up early in the morning. So he's running away, right? He's going to his uncle. So he, in the middle of the road, he sleeps somewhere. And there he sees heaven open up. And when heaven opened up, he was so amazed. And Jacob rose up early in the morning. And Jacob vowed a vow saying, if God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and clothes to put on uh -huh, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then, then I will consider and make God you will become. 
And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. When God saw that God could not prevail against Jacob, what did God do to him? Mm. Touched the hollow of his thigh. Very strong. Fighting with God as man and could not, nobody winning. God has been trying to get, get him all these years. God has been trying to get him, break him down. God has been calling this boy for years. I want to use you. He won't listen. So God decided, I must break this guy. Before now, he was erecting monuments to his own selfishness, to his own desires. And now, he's doing it for God. Now God can talk to him. When you are not broken, you cannot fit in God's plan. Ah! Title this. Um, there is power in the breaking. In the lives of a Christian, there must be a place where you actually, there's a dying. A dying to oneself and one's desires. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. A brokenness. Total dependence on God. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. And it is only the rod of correction that can drive it away. Not many noble are called. What is he saying, my family? He's saying, look, look, this is the way God does things. People think it's foolish. God does not call a lot of people that are very smart. God does not use a lot of people that are very powerful. God has chosen the foolish things of the world. So already, Moses already crowned himself prince, judge, I'm the savior. I can save these Hebrew people. God took Moses from the palace. He's so mighty. And God crushed him down. He ran away. He ran into the wilderness. He became very submissive. Bless me, Lord. I'm not going to stop. I'm asking you, Lord, change my life. Turn my life around. Help me. Casting down. I will say there's a lifting up. I know all around there's death there. Death there. We hear. But your word has promised us. Lord, we will only hear and see with our eyes. It will not come near our dwelling. Hallelujah. Our enemies scatter them, oh God. Scatter them. Your enemies are our enemies. Our enemies are your enemies. Lord, let them be scattered. Let me share briefly with us brokenness. Becoming a nothing before God. So when God really wants to start to do something marvelous in your life, he allows suffering. I'm sorry. Paul, the apostle, went through a lot of suffering for the Lord. He was beaten. He was stoned. Also, God could use him for his glory. And what is it that God was trying to do in his life? He wants him to become a nobody. Nothing before him. You see, that's what God wants to do in our lives. He wants to take us to where we are nothing. I'm going to show you something about Peter. Inside one man, there are three people. There is Simon. Somebody that's a reed that bends easily to everything happening. Then there is a Peter. That's a rock. And inside that man also is Satan. That says, no, you will not go to the cross. And Jesus Christ turned back and said, looking at Peter, said, get thee behind me, Satan. Inside one man, three. Peter needed to be broken. He was too strong. He was too sure of himself. You know what he was saying here? If everyone departs from you, not me, I will not leave you. Everyone betrays you, I will not leave you. And Christ knew that he would not use that to be the leader of his people when he leaves. He needed to break Peter to stop feeling like he's something. To become a what? A nothing. Anyone that thinks it's a something in the eyes of God is a nothing. It's the people that know that they are nothing that God raises up to become something.
Gott zu mir. 